It's the heart on your sleeve, never making me wonder. It's the bone that we tie up and over and under. You're the sun and the rain, and my grass is always green. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a get to know me tag, which has 21 questions. That's like a random number, but that's what it is online. The reason why I want to do a get to know tag because I never did any tag video before and it's just so proper to do a get to know me tag before anything else right um, I know a lot of girls is doing like girl power tag and TMI tag and stuff like that but I decided to do this first before I do any other tags and also I know a lot of girls is doing 50 random Fun fact tag, um, I look at the questions online and it doesn't really relate to what I wanted to do and then I browse through blogs online and I saw this get to know me tag and go through all the questions and it's so close to what I want to do so that's why I decided to do this tag. So yeah, there is 21 questions. I am going to modify some of the questions. Um, there's just some questions that I kind of um want to modify yeah let's get started first question are you named after anyone so first of all i want to tell you my real name my real name is jerosa and uh, i think i kind of assumed it to myself that i am because my name sounds like jerusalem but then the spelling is different it's spelled as J-I-R-O-S-A. When I started school, when I was just learning to write my name, I kind of confused because my teacher was teaching me how to write the Jerosa as a G as in go E-R-O-S-A, which is so confusing. I was like, what is my real name? I kind of want to ask my mom, but I don't know why I didn't. But yeah, I think I was named after the word Jerusalem. I never asked my parents about that, but... I kind of assume it to myself because it sounded like that and I haven't really heard a certain name Jerosa. I don't know if you guys know someone who named Jerosa. Let me know in the comment down below and I will be happy to meet Jerosa online. No, I'm just kidding. It's creepy. When was the last time you cried? So last night I was watching, it's actually last night, I was watching the show uh, Teen Mom 2. I don't know if you guys um, are into that kind of show. I'm into a re reality show and I follow that um, certain season of Teen Mom way before when they were just pregnant and every time there is a scene with Leah, she has a twin and one of the twin um, has like um, muscle dystrophy kind of thing and it was so heartbreaking just to see like how like how was a parent you know if like I couldn't imagine my daughter having that kind of disease I could just imagine how hard it is for the parents and it's just so heartbreaking and the child seems so happy she's like an energetic child and stuff like that but like they were saying that she has to go to school with wheelchair and stuff like that I was crying when I was watching that last night it's so so sad but yeah that was the last time I cried. Alright, so do you have kids? Okay, I have a daughter. She's two and a half. She's so smart and adorable. She's perfect. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. She's just so, I don't know, she's just so intelligent. And I had so much time being with her in the afternoon. I work half of the day. Then I spend the rest of the afternoon until night with her and she's just so much fun. And um, she just follow whatever you say. But she's really cute if you were another person would you be a friend of yourself absolutely yes i'm not like being conceited but i'm the type of friend who will be with you through thick and thin if you need me i'll be there if you don't need me i'll back off <laughs> so yeah i definitely be um a friend to myself next question is do you use sarcasm a lot if you ask somebody that know me they will tell you it's just me, okay, in my own opinion. I think they will tell you that Jerosa doesn't get sarcastic a lot. Like, I hate offending others. Next question, will you ever bungee jump? Nope. I, um, when we went to Philippines for vacation, we go hiking on this very steep mountain into, like, going into a cave. It's pretty scary because when you look down, there is so much rocks 
at the bottom. I did that, but bungee jumping, I would never, never do bungee jump. Okay, so next, what is your favorite cereal? I am not a cereal person, maybe Cheerios, because I tasted Cheerios from my daughter's cereal. I don't really eat cereal in the morning. I'm kind of toast and coffee kind of person. And so yeah, but if you want me to really, really eat cereal, I would do Cheerios. So next question, what is the first thing you notice about people? This may sound weird, but whenever I meet people, I usually look at their fingernails. And if I could see their two nails, that would be the first thing I'll notice if it's clean or not. I don't know what that is, but it's just me. I uh, don't get me wrong. I don't judge people by just their physical appearance, but it's just I know I'm just so drawn out to that. But if you ask me, um, if you ask me about like character and stuff like that, I think the way they talk, because you can tell the type of person that you're talking um, by the way they talk. You know, you could tell if they're a little bit bitchy or nice if like you know when by the way they talk to you, I think. So, the next question is, what is your eye color? My eye color is brown. Scary movie or happy endings? I would say both. I love, love, love watching scary movies. Before, I used to watch it by myself. I don't mind, but right now, I have to have somebody with me. And when it comes to happy endings, it's just nice to, it's just nice to have that feeling when you finish watching a good, ending movie you feel like happy and uplifted and stuff like that so yeah I'm both okay favorite smells um, favorite smells would be candles like fruity scent candles I hate vanilla scented candles sometimes but there is some scent of vanilla that I like I don't know if it combines with coconut smell and stuff like that but if it is just flat out uh, vanilla I kind of don't like it but generally, uh, fruity um, candle scent. That's the scent that I like. All right, summer or winter? If right now I hate summer, I love winter. But when you asked me before I came here to Canada, I would say winter because I was dreaming of white Christmas and I was dreaming of like holding the snow and stuff like that. But when I got here, I hated it. So I would say summer as of the moment. Alright, so computer or television? Computer. Uh, do you know why? On TV, you can browse internet, but you can do both on computer, as long as you have internet. So, I would say computer. Alright, so next, what is the furthest you've ever been from home? So, as of the moment, Canada is my home, and I would say Philippines because we went for a vacation to visit my family but that was the furthest place I've been in from home all right so do you have any special talents for special talents hmm, this is kind of hard because I can't sing I can't dance either I would say cooking cooking and language I love cooking for people especially desserts I like making desserts and um, lately I kind of um, expanded my knowledge with cooking before I just only cook like Filipino foods but now I know how to cook some of the Trinidadian food and just some other cultures so yeah I think cooking and language because where I came from uh, we have our own dialect and then the national language and then the English I would say and my own dialect it has a hint of Spanish so sometimes when I talk to people and I know that they speak Spanish and I'll start to um, tell them their numbers because their numbers are kind of the same to my numbers in my local dialect and there's gonna be surprised like you know how to speak Spanish? I'll be like <laughs> no just number so yeah just number in some of the words so yeah I would say cooking and language is my special talents if you consider that as a special talent um, okay, so where were you born? I was born and raised in Philippines. I grew up there. I spent my, um, I spent my um, schooling years back there, and then after all the schooling, I came here to work in. I came here to work in Canada. All right. So what are your hobbies? Okay. First, I like cooking. Secondly, I like spending time online and just browsing. 
and um, lately obviously making YouTube videos that's one of my hobbies and most of all I love just spending time with my daughter like in the afternoon we have the special afternoon bond where we just play and you know like get the house messy and stuff like that and I love that I just I just love spending time with her so yeah those are my hobbies okay so do you have any pets okay I used to take care of a dog and a cat but yeah personally I don't have pets maybe later on okay so favorite movie okay favorite movie would be Fast and Furious and Helen of Troy first maybe is Helen of Troy then Fast and Furious I love the Helen of Troy whenever I rewatch that movie the scene where the king came over to reclaim the body of his son and he was begging Brad Pitt to just give it to him and let him bring him home and gave him a proper uh, burial. That scene always makes me cry. Yeah, I just love that movie. That's my favorite. Okay, so do you have any siblings? I do have two brothers and uh, a sister back home and then one sister here in Canada. So, and then one more brother, but he passed away when I was in high school. So next and last question. What do you want to be when you grow up? This is the question that I want to modify because I've grown up, I'm almost 30 years old. And um, okay, so I'm just gonna tell you what are my goals in life. Okay, so I have a husband and a daughter already, so that's been fulfilled. And um, one of my goals in life is to have a steady and stable job, or I may say career. And before, I was really um, dreaming of being in a medical field, working in a hospital and stuff like that. But to think like right now I have my own family, kind of want that job wherein at least I have a Sunday off. So yeah, I w if I have the chance to go back to school again, I would prefer taking up like management or accounting so I could work in a bank and get some money. Another goal that I have is to have um, a little bit more viewers on my videos and I really like and enjoy filming video. And so yeah, that's my other goal and hopefully you guys will fulfill that for me. I think that's everything. I hope this video helps you get to know me better and I'm just so happy that I finally did this video and yeah. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video on your Facebook wall so your friends and families could see it. This video will direct them to my um, YouTube channel so they could see all my tutorials and beauty videos. Thank you again guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I'll be there in your town. I'll be there in your downtown. Heel kind of fat. I will tell you flat out, you don't look at that. I don't think I use sarcasm at all.